So Microsoft just rolled out Windows 11 25H2 to everyone last week, and it's already causing chaos. Gamers are losing 20 to 30% of their frame rates. File Explorer is literally flashbanging people in dark mode, and some apps just won't open anymore. I spent the last few days documenting every single issue, and honestly, some of this stuff is borderline unacceptable for a production OS. Let me show you what's actually broken. Look, I'm not here to just bash Windows, I use it every day. But Microsoft just started automatically pushing 25H2 to millions of Home and Pro users on December 6th, literally yesterday, by the time of recoding this video, and the bug reports that have been building since September are now affecting way more people. We're talking game-breaking performance issues that NVIDIA had to release an emergency driver to fix. We're talking about task managers spawning zombie processes that eat your RAM. We're talking about the start menu crashing on enterprise systems. And here's the problem. If you turned on, get the latest updates as soon as they're available in Windows Update, you already have this installed. You might already be dealing with some of these issues and not even realize it. So today, I'm going to walk through every confirmed problem with 25H2, show you which ones are fixed, which ones are still broken, and what you can actually do about it. Let's get into it. Okay, let's start with the most recent issue because it's legitimately hilarious and infuriating at the same time. If you use dark mode, and let's be honest, who doesn't in 2025 File Explorer is now flashbanging you every time you open it. See that? That bright white flash right before the window loads? Yeah. That happens every single time. Open a new folder, it flashes. Create a new tab, it flashes. Toggle the details pane, it flashes. Navigate to your gallery, it flashes. It's like Windows is trying to jump scare you every time you click something. Microsoft released this as part of the December 1st preview update. And the best part? This is an optional update. You have to manually install it to get this bug. Now, if you have an OLED monitor or you work at night in a dark room, this isn't just annoying, it's physically painful. Imagine editing photos at 2 a.m., opening a folder, and getting hit with a full brightness white screen straight to your eyes. But here's the one that's affecting the most people. Gaming performance is tanking. Microsoft confirmed this themselves. After you install the October 2025 update KB5066835 or anything newer, your frame rates in games just drop. We're talking 20 to 30% FPS loss in some titles. Users are reporting drops in Assassin's Creed Shadows, Counter-Strike 2, Cyberpunk 2077, basically any modern AAA game. One user said their taskbar is forcing their display to drop to 60 hertz with visible flickering. Another said their 165 hertz monitor randomly locks to 60 hertz and they have to restart Explorer.exe to fix it. And this isn't just 25H2. This affects 24H2 too because they share the same code base. 25H2 is basically just 24H2 with a tiny enablement package on top. So if you're on 24H2 and you've installed updates since October, you've got this bug. NVIDIA was so concerned about this that they released an emergency hotfix driver version 58194 back in November to try to mitigate it. But here's the problem. This is a Windows level bug. The driver can only do so much. Microsoft needs to fix this on their end. Now this one's actually kind of hilarious. Task Manager had a hilarious bug where closing it didn't actually close it, just spawned zombie processes eating RAM. Power users were racking up hundreds of hidden instances, but apps requiring internet like Discord, Microsoft Store, and Copilot are refusing to open with connection reset errors. This affects anything using HTTP.sys. Microsoft released a partial fix, but issues persist. Some people have to roll back or do clean installs. Here are your actual options. Don't install 25H2 yet. Wait a few weeks. Pause updates for up to five weeks, or turn off, get the latest updates as soon as they're available. Roll back if you can. You have 10 days to go to settings, then system, then recovery, then go back. After that, you're locked in. For gaming issues, install NVIDIA Driver 581.94 if you have NVIDIA GPU. It helps, but won't fully fix it. For the flashbang bug, skip the optional KB571 3-on-1 update completely. For Task Manager Zombies, install November Update KB5168861, that will be fixed. For app failures, try network resets or DNS flushes. But honestly, you're waiting on Microsoft. The best advice? Don't rush to install updates. Let others beta test for you. Keep backups and be patient. If you're dealing with any of these issues, drop a comment below and let me know which one and how you're handling it. And if you found this video helpful, hit that like button and subscribe. I'll keep tracking these issues and updating you as Microsoft releases fixes. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. And maybe hold off on that update for a bit.